what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Andy and I finally did it. I finally built the Razor Crest. I've had this set for a while. I was waiting for the right time to build it and that time came over the weekend and man, I'm so happy to have built this set. I think it looks amazing. I actually made a few modifications to it that I'll share at the end of the video. But before that, and the purpose of this video is to open this box right here, which is several Wicked Brick display stands that I got a little while ago. I've actually been waiting to build this before I open this box. But that's what we're gonna do on this video. We're going to upgrade several of the displays behind me with these stands. I'll let you know my thoughts on the Wicked Brick display stands, whether or not they're worth it, and you'll be able to see for yourself if the shelves look any better. So yeah, I don't even know what I got in here, but I guess that'll be part of the fun. So let's jump into it. All right, I got the box open. It looks like we have Boba Fett's Starship stand, an A-Wing stand, a Y-Wing stand, and the Mandalorian Bounty Hunter Transport, which is the Razor Crest right here. So now that we know exactly what stands I have, we can take a look at what's here now to just kind of walk you through the collection a little bit, get an idea of what it looks like now and what improvements I might make. Starting with the Y-Wing here, which I think there's no doubt this is gonna look so much better with a display stand. I mean, just laying flat like here um, doesn't do this justice at all. I've done some things with sets like making my own display stands, like this brick made one right here. This is obviously in need of some modding for sure, but I think it looks better on display with the wings open or down. I need to get some of the new helmets. Here's the Marauder. I've used this piece right here uh, to get this on display, which I think makes for a really nice piece to get those wings down. And it looks so much better that way. I want to, I got to replace this with something better. But down here, I've got my mock on display, which is Vader's March, which looks nice. And then down here, I definitely want and need a display stand for the Starfighter. I think that's going to look a lot better when it gets its own stand as well. Up here, we have Boba's Starship, which is going to look better with a display stand. I mean, it's not bad with the one that came out of the box, but I think it'll look just a little bit better. I've made one for this X-Wing here, which, you know what? I think that needs a stand as well. we got to do something for that X-Wing better than that. These two TIE Fighters, and I, I actually have a third for some reason, but these two TIE Fighters look really cool. Um, one a little bit higher than the other, and I've used that piece again to get some elevation. I might move these guys to the top. Um, they just take up a little bit of room on the shelves and they don't really show well in the camera when I'm making videos. So I might just put them up there because I usually try to cut out the top when I can. But uh, this has got to move because the Razor Crest has to go here. I mean, obviously. And I'm not sure if I should keep this on display or not. I mean, it's a really nice set, but I do have my mock over there, which is kind of similar in a way. I don't know, I'll probably keep it for now. And then down here we have some other ships. I mean, these guys need something a little bit better. This might go to the top. General Grievous's star fighter or starship. I just have it propped up in the back there. Definitely need to get something here for the Millennium Falcon. And we have something for the A-Wing. So that's what the display looks like right now. Let's get these stands open and start swapping them out. A lot of tape on here, I guess it's good for shipping, especially since I think they ship from out of country. Actually, I know they do because I pay the shipping for those to get here, which is something you have to factor into the worth of these and the cost as well. All right, this is risky business. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Let's take a look at our handy instructions to see what we need to do here. All right, that's pretty, pretty easy. And we we'll just go ahead and peel this stuff off. Just 
just a little bit of gunk on it you got to get off but not terrible all right we just go ahead and place this down in the base Ooh, that sounded not good but that's okay there we go that made me a little bit nervous but it's in there so that looks good so far all right, I've got the top on here, so we can go ahead and connect the A-wing. And there you have it. There's our A-wing on a Wicked Brick display stand. And I gotta be honest, I think it looks fantastic. I think the display stand is very well constructed. Um, we used to make this kind of stuff in school, right? Um, high school or middle school, I can't remember. It's been so long. Um, but yeah, that looks really good. Um, you know, this is just a playset, and I think it, it elevates the displayability of a playset quite a bit. That looks really good. All right, so let's go ahead and get the other ones built up and uh, see what these look like on the shelf. There you have it. They're all built up and I gotta say, they look great. It's a game changer for these sets to have them sitting up on a premium display like this. It just looks so much better than really anything else you could put them on display with. And that brings me to the verdict. Do I think that these are worth it? I do. And I do because there really isn't anything else out on the market that competes with these. I haven't been able to find anything. And trust me, I've tried because the conversion to U.S. dollars and the shipping cost, it makes these a little bit expensive to get in the U.S. because they're, they're shipped overseas. I wish Wicked Brick would find a distributor in the U.S. for these. I think that they could really open up their their sales to a whole new market. Um, I believe that price conversion does probably deter some people. But uh, I think it's worth it because there just isn't anything else like this on the market. They're good quality. They display well. And yeah, they're awesome. All right, let's get these up here and see what the difference is. Oh, I guess I should mention that these do come with little stands for the minifigures, but I'm not gonna display the minifigures, so I didn't use these, but that's pretty cool as well. All right, onto the shelves. Let's take a look at these shelves now that we have the sets up here with their display stands. So here's the Razor Crest on this little Mandalorian shelf, which looks pretty cool. We've got the Y-Wing with the Zori Pop there. I also put a stand on this one back here, so that looks nice, I think. 
the A-wing is still down here, which I don't love it being on the bottom, but you know what? It's, it's not like it's a super awesome set, so the stand helps it, but I think it's fine down there. The Millennium Falcon should, could use some help, though. We'll work on that. And then I did keep the dual set on display, which is up here. I think I need something else up there. Probably the Millennium Falcon will go up there once it's done, but we don't have that stand yet. I moved the X-Wing over here, which I think looks nice. And then we have Boba Fett Starship here with the Boba Fett Pop. So all in all, I think these are looking pretty cool now. All right, as promised, let me show you what mods I did to the Razor Crest real quick. And starting on the top, I swapped out all of these dark bluish gray wedge plates with light bluish gray because, you know, the Razor Crest is more of a solid chrome type color. It doesn't have all that two tone going on. I also filled in some of this and swapped out a lot of the dark bluish gray for light bluish gray so I think that looks quite a bit better then down here I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna keep this but I did build up the guns a little bit I thought that they just didn't look good enough so I fixed that on the front I swapped out again dark bluish gray which was going down here and I swapped that out for just the light bluish gray pieces and I opted not to put the piece on the windshield here, which I think looks better without it. And then on the bottom here, I did some plating in here, which I think looks nice. So like I said, not big changes, but little changes that I think make it look a little bit better to me. All right, guys. Well, if you're not subscribed to the channel, let me give you a really good reason why you might want to consider subscribing. I'm starting my largest mock project ever this week. It's going to be six 48 by 48 gray base plates, and I can't wait to get started on it. So I'm going to have that project going as well as working on some other projects like these one and dones that I've been doing and even some smaller mocks as well. I just want to be able to be diverse, jump around, build some different things and have fun. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, you're into Lego Star Wars, Lego content in general, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if I was able to share anything useful in this video for you. If you're considering Wicked Brick display cases, I can recommend them. I think they're great. They definitely are a game changer. Let me know what you think about you know the new setup I have here in the comments below. I'd appreciate your feedback. Make sure you check out Brickanics.com. I have all of my uh, past projects uh, posted there, and I'll be looking to increase the content there as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all of your support. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next build. Have a good one.